How you doing guys? Phantom TC here and today I'm gonna bring you another deck profile. This is a shadow deck budget not invoked one. Uh, I play like in a small tournament let's say it. So I play uh, this deck with a bunch of people and I was using the side deck. So I will show you uh, my deck. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, Winda basically took over everything. Uh, the most problematic one was uh, this deck, what is called uh, Dickmatica. Uh, just because if you summon one monster from the extra deck, they have access to a bunch of other monsters. So you really want to summon Winda uh, as fast as possible. Uh, but yeah, anyways, starting off, let's get into the video. Uh... Yeah, I have to say the game, the the decks I play against, I play against uh, Invoke Dogmatica, Invoke uh, Sudiac Dogmatica, uh, Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon is the most annoying one because just takes away the monster in the extra monster zone. But I have something against that guy. Uh, didn't play against Sky Striker, but there was one Sky Striker though. Uh, and one Salaman Great. Yeah, I didn't play against the Salaman Great. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, let's get started with the deck profile. This deck is so is very annoying, and really it depends. It doesn't matter if you go first or second. Uh, the majority of the time I was going uh, first. Uh, the exception was against uh, Cyber Dragon because I didn't want uh, them just to get one free summon and one extra card. Uh, so yeah, you basically get the point, but I'll show you the card that basically just destroyed my opponent in that way Anyways, starting with the monster playing triple uh, Sakumara self-explanatory uh, Combos with Winda these two guys right here summon uh, uh, Al Capone or if you manage to get this and one light monster uh, You can just basically do full combo. So That's the reason I'm maxing out on them uh, same thing if for X or I reason you break you don't have any way to fusion summon you just set uh, Wendy or set Sakamata and basically this get rid of rids of a monster and this gives you access to another monster so uh, That's it with the three ofs uh, That's the only card. I really want to see multiples of uh, and really Just will use it a lot each turn next we're playing one Shadow Dragon, one Shadow Beast, one Shadow Hedgehog, one Ariel, and the new addition that I didn't want to play is one Chaos. Uh, uh, let me explain this card pretty quickly. Uh, his flip effect is when this card is flipped, uh, you get to special summon one Shadow Monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. It's not that great. Uh, neither is it the other one. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you discard one shadow monster and it get uh, all your current shadow monster or all your mon shadow monsters on the field will get uh, 100 for each level. It's not the best. Uh, sometimes it can get rid of something, but it's. I'll explain later the reason why I'm playing this. Alright, Chattel Beast basically if you're kind of breaking and you don't have any extenders to uh, to fulfill the combo or you don't have any other card to summon uh, Abermax with Winda, uh, this basically flips, draws two cards so you can get to your hand traps and at least summon Winda. And Chattel Dragon is just a destroyed by back row. Ariel comes in clutch sometimes when banishing monsters from the opponent's graveyard. Super... Uh, a strong against uh, Dogmatica, so if they manage to get their hands on Maximus because they search it, just banish all their tar targets and that's it. Same thing uh, with the, their trap card. If they're going to summon Winda, you just banish the shadow monsters and basically that's it. They won't have access to any shadow uh, monster from their extra deck. That's the problematic part about Dogmatica, getting uh, fighting against Winda. So, yeah. Uh, Alright. Now, the reason I'm playing Chaos is just because it's light. And the other thing is, since I'm playing Sinister Shadow games, I can just dish him and he just becomes uh, another... It, it just chains block. So, I can ma do the effect of one card on the field that I want to. For example, if I want to revive uh, with Ariel 
or Hedgehog or at least use one monster's uh, uh, effect on field. KO is basically the most trash he has one, so you just chain this last. So they have to uh, chain something to this card unless they have Call by the Grave or something. And Call by the Grave is, uh, is at one, so uh, it's very problematic. So you don't get Ash or any other card. So that's, the, that's all the shadow monsters I'm playing. Uh, for the light monsters, I'm only playing the Trickstar engine. Let me explain why. The only reason I'm playing this is because uh, just Candina searches your field spell and the field spell searches your uh, Corbane. Plus, you can search your Candina with uh, Terraforming. Terraform, uh, Terraforming turns into Light Stage and Light Stage can turn basically into a MST in a way. Uh, you can just target one back row, force your opponent to activate it. Uh, if not, basically that card is locked, so you can OTK your opponent, or you can just worry about the other back rows. Uh, the majority of the times, I didn't have to spend a lot of resources getting rid of my opponent's back row, because they normally set two cards. So I just use uh, Life Stage to lock one card, or force them to activate that card, and then use Dragon to pop the other one. Uh, that's basically getting rid of your opponent's uh, spell and trap cards since in the gra in the end phase they have to activate it if not they will send it to the graveyard uh, Kandina <laughs> just burns your opponent and Corbane if you don't summon it and her and have Kandina on the field uh, basically you can pump her attack if not she basically becomes an extender an extra material to summon cross cheap uh, and continue on with the combo she just basically becomes a cyber dragon. Uh, that's the reason I'm playing this, because it's searchable, and I really like it. I just like that burn effect. So if you go on time, just burn them for 200 if your opponent's not uh, looking at the field like they normally do or something. Uh, next, for hand traps, we're playing two effect veilers because it's light. I was playing ogre, but this format, ogre, is not that great. You can use this uh, for... Prada Plan Anaconda, and basically, yes, they won't do anything else. Uh, and four copies of Ash Blossom. That's basically it. Uh, for spell cards, we're playing didn't change that much from last uh, deck profile. Playing three Shadow Fusions, three L Shadow Fusions, three Super Polys, and the one Polymerization. I actually made a deck profile before this video, this video, uh, like three three weeks or two weeks ago. I didn't upload it because I didn't feel like confident since I was losing with the performer uh, perform age and not having access to uh, fusion spells. Uh, this variant is the one the the one I liked. This ratio is okay. Uh, if you're going second, obviously. Shadow Fusion is super extremely OP. Uh, Shadow Fusion is just a quick play, so you can just activate during the, the battle phase. Super Poly, you can use monsters from your opponent's field. And Polymerization is because I'm playing Fusion uh, Recycling Plant, and it will give you access to Polymerization. So you, die, you have that extra card to Fusion Summon. So we're playing 10 copies in total. Uh, unlike the Invoke one, you have Invocation, but Invocation forces you to, ha to use them from your hand and I don't want to be summoning uh, Macabas and stuff so, because they're, it's kind of weird yeah it's a good negate but it's not my style uh, but yeah that's the reason I'm currently playing Polymerization plus in my last build I wasn't playing Polymerization and I regret it Alright, for uh, field spells, we're playing the one Fusion Repair Plan and the one Trickster Light Stage, and obviously the one Terraforming. This can turn into either of this, depending on the situation. Maybe you already have the Polymerization or the Fusion spell in your hand, so you just need a light, so you can just search for Trickstar Life Stage. If you don't have any Fusion cards, just activate Fusion Repair Plan. If not, this is a good bait for Ash Blossom. Uh, the same thing with uh, Light Stage and the same thing with Future Repair Plant. The other thing, Future Repair Plant is a very amazing card. I regret taking it out in my last build. Because uh, during the end phase, if you Fusion Summon, you just grab one of those materials back to your hand. So, for example, if you played uh, El Chalo Fusion, during your opponent's turn, during their end phase, 
you'll get to add one of those materials to your hand. Uh, and is doing either player's end phase, just doing the end phase. It's extremely amazing. I really like it. The other thing is uh, you can discard one card and search for polymerization from your deck or graveyard. So that's another plus, another win-win situation there. Uh, and just life stage, like I was, like I was saying, uh, she basically becomes like a M MST, uh, locks one of your opponent's back row, and basically forces your opponent to activate it. If not, you just continue on with your building your board. Uh, now. Uh, we're playing two Pot of Avarice. The reason I'm playing two and not three is because, really, this might break sometimes. There have been times that I have opened both, and if it wasn't for one card, just probably break. But this card comes in clutch a lot of times because you run through your resources pretty quickly. You use your Wen your three Wendy's, your Sakamatas, your Shadow Monsters. You go, th you run them pretty quickly. The same thing with your fusions. So basically, Pot of Avarice just shuffles them back, gets more car, gets the two cards, and you can even bait your opponent with this card. Uh, I have even baited this card to, like, for Diddy Crow or something. I can just revive the monster that was Diddy Crow with, uh, with Ariel. So that's no big deal. Uh, so that's the reason I'm playing 2, 3, like I said, it's kind of bricky. Uh, so yeah. Now the, next to 1, Foolish Burrow, and Monster Reborn, because it's a good extender, not gonna lie. Alright, next we're playing 2 Sinister Shadow games. 1 Reshadow Incarnation, and 1 Chapdel Schmidt. I always mispronounce this card, that's the big problem. Alright, the reason I'm playing this, I took it out and I really regretted it, because... There's sometimes that really you can't do stuff and you have to play the long game. So basically, Sinister Shadow game with a set monster is very, 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 very scary. Because uh, the majority of my scenarios were the following. Uh, for example, if I have Wendy or uh, Sakamoto, let's say I just set one, uh, set one and set this. Uh, if for X or reason something happens, I just obviously flip Sinister Shadow Games, ditch uh, Wendy or Sakumara or any other Shadow Monster that I want to, that I need at that moment, uh, and then flip any face up, any face down Shadow Monsters. Now, this is a good thing. Since they have triggers, trigger effects, you can shame them. So if you want to pop a monster, you just go Wendy, uh, you just go Sakumara chain link 1, then Wendy chain link 2. So basically, they just have to respond to Wendy and just pop the interruption, they, the, the monster they're going to be using for the combo or something. That it really happened a lot, uh, and just saves you one turn, uh, so you can summon your link, uh, your shadow construct, the link one. So that's the reason I'm playing this, and this can ditch any shadow mon uh, ch shadow card. Sorry. So it can ditch shadow fusion, L shadow fusion, this shit, this shit, and basically the, the possibilities are infinite. Not gonna lie. Now, re shadow fusion. The reason I'm playing one copy is because I just use it for the effect of flipping one monster in the field, uh, just to summon Avermax with Winda. Or just summon Borrow Sword and just OTK my opponent. Uh, and then Shadow Smith, uh, Smith, if you're going first, uh, just this card is insane. Not gonna lie. Just having Axe, just Fusion Summoning using your Graveyard is just what the deck needed. And then getting rid of the monster your opponent has. Like, I have been in situations where I have this and L Shadow Fusion uh, set. I use Smith. Uh, Summon Construct, get rid of uh, Ecclesia or any other monster that is problematic, or Mikaba, get rid of the Mikabos or something, and then using El Chattel Fusion to summon Winda, just using my own Construct. Construct effect will resolve in the graveyard, getting you your Chattel, uh, El Chattel Fusion or Shadow Fusion or any other card you needed, because obviously Construct will trigger and you will ditch a card. So... This card is extremely amazing, not gonna lie. Uh, and one, I only played one because you can search it. It's not really that necessary to play uh, multiple copies of this, so yeah. Now, going to the extra deck, I 
this video is kind of a little bit uh, long. So we're playing for fusions. Play the three copies of El Chalar Construct. The copies of Winda. Two all Capone. Since there are a bunch of Dogmatica around, you can just ditch uh, with uh, this guy right here. What is it called? Fuck. Uh, Maximus. Uh, if your opponent activates Maximus, you just ditch uh, Al Capone. And if they have Mikawa, they really want to negate it. If not, you just get one extra card. Uh, the card you need it. Sometimes your brick. Send this. Search your Shadow Fusion. And pff, basically, that's it. From there, you just discard a card. Trigger the fact of the card you discarded. And pff, yeah, you go off from there. Uh, since we're playing Super Poly, we're playing the targets, we're playing one Star and Venom and one Mud Dragon of the Swamp. This is for Dragoons. Dragoons is very OP. Uh, so basically getting rid of it and <laughs> with Super Poly is super, super okay. Same thing with Mud Dragon. Sometimes your opponent builds a very ridiculous ass board. Now, playing against my friends, like I said, we're playing against... Uh, there's a Cyber Dragon, so I was playing one uh, Chimera Fleet. This should be Mascarina, uh, but knowing that I have a oh, Cyber Dragon and it's super very annoying, you just give me your two monsters contact and just summon this shit and continue on with my combo. And it's an extra monster, so you can link it, link it away. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the reason I'm playing this. It's not even that necessary. This could be Mascarina. Uh, like I always do, I'll put the deck profile in the description. So you will see that I will have Mega Fleet and I will substitute this with Mascarina. I'll put it optional. For links, we're playing Cross Sheep. Uh, Chattel Construct, this is a card I was debating on playing, but this card came in clutch a bunch of the times. Since if you don't have access to your uh, Chattel uh, spells, basically this card becomes a uh, Chattel Fusion. Uh, so if you manage to do, pull the combo with Sinister Shadow Game, where you just uh, interrupt your opponent's turn, uh, you just summon another Flip Monster, uh, Link Summon Construct, and basically from there, Construct's effect is that you can fusion summon using a uh, monster from their hand, or field uh, to fusion summon one, fu one Shadow Monster. The other effect is pretty cool. Send one Shadow card from your hand or field to the graveyard, and special summon her. So it's basically Avermax, easy Avermax, that's basically the reason I'm playing it. Uh, and it can trigger your shuttle monsters in case you need them. Uh, in case you want to trigger your Winda, your Wendy, sorry. You just uh, ditch Winda, revive this, Winda effect will trigger, especially summon another monster, then fusion summoned if you don't want to waste a spell card, or if you want to bait your opponent. So that's the reason I'm playing Construct, it's super extremely amazing. I didn't manage to play her. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix, just get rid of one back row in case some weird shit happens. Then one Avermax is you're going first, and you managed to use the full of, uh, the you managed to pull the full combo and one Boros Sword for the OTK. So now for the side deck, I didn't use many of them, uh, but I was playing one Panker Tops, one Harpy Feather Duster, and one Mind Control in case I was going second. Uh, since I I know. A lot of people will cite like a bunch of, of trap cards uh, if I go uh, second. Uh, Harpy Feather Duster is basically going to get rid of that uh, of my opponent's field. So yeah, man, it, sadly they didn't open it, didn't get to use it. Pranker Traps e neither, and Mind Control, yeah, didn't see them. Uh, Cosmic Cyclones and two Twin Twister, two and two. This was against Sky Striker. Never play against Sky Striker. And Twin Twister, just Twin Twister, get rid of two cards and that's it. Sadly, your Shadow Monster won't trigger, but just get rid of two cards on the field. That's it. Uh, next we're playing two Dark Ruler no more. Uh, triple Nibiru. If I'm going second, same shit. And if I'm going first. And I'm playing against Dogmatica or Dogmatica Su. Uh, Dimensional Barrier is the one card I will go uh, and play. Uh, basically, just, they just stop. That's it. If you call uh, Fusion, they won't summon dipshit. Uh, you already have your Max, your Avermax, so you probably will be okay. Uh, and against Zodiac, it's just 
XYZ when they summon a normal monster. Uh, when they summon a Raptor or Tough Blade or something, you just go XYZ and that's it. They will probably try to play with uh, your with the Demagrica cards, but uh, it won't be that much. So yeah, basically that's it. Uh, I know the video was long. I hope you like it. Uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Now we have Phantom Rage uh, just around the corner. So if you want to see me open a box, subscribe, ring the bell so you can get notified when I upload the video. And peace. Thanks for watching.